we've got a sharp DMS array in here, three microphones, double mid-side. And we've come, we've come right to the end of Spurn Point. Um, what I want here is this sort of gentle ambient sea wash on the sand rather than the gravel and shingle further back and also the potential for getting some distant sounds of shipping. Yeah. This is as far as you can get to the east in East Yorkshire. So I've been looking forward to recording this for some time. So we're back up from the Alex, can you bring Dave's stuff and help get him set up behind there? I'm just conscious of the time. Perfect. So we've got three channels, front, side and rear, going into this um, Sonos X. I can listen to the front pair in stereo. And that's exactly what I was hoping for. Good. Some ambient sea wash right on the end of Spurn Point. You want to soak those up, that's the point of putting this on this stand higher yeah. up. To remove the effects of uh, reflection off the ground. Also to yeah. here, further yeah. into the distance as well. Right, okay. So, that's a good spot Alex has chosen. So you've got, you're really looking straight out. You're looking straight out into the North Sea. Alex, yeah. I think that'll be far enough. I'll try over there. Yeah. So, same thing, so we've got a Sennheiser middle and side arrangement in here, an MKH 80, 40 and 30, similar but not identical in terms of output. So no rattle, an amazing day, no yeah. hardly any wind. Incredible. Yeah, we're very lucky, aren't we? Incredible, perfect time to be here. We couldn't have planned it better. Good. Near the incoming tide there. Yeah. A bit of shipping over there. So. Yeah. Alex, you want to take this, please? Well done, sort of split around. Split just in the.
It's an ST450 sound field microphone. Um, so it's got four capsules arranged in a tetrahedron inside and records to B format and or stereo. So you can use it end shot, but I, most of the time I use it lantern style, like that. Okay. So the, you mount the microphone virtually, vertically. It goes in this Ryko windshield. It's not windy today, so we don't need a, a wind jammer. Okay, so 20, 20 meters of cable in there. Yep. And the microphone terminates in this control box, the microphone in there. Yep. And it's got two separate outputs, a B format, W, X, Y and Z, yep. and a stereo output. Mic goes in there and it's, this is powered 12 volt powering from a, on that 4 pin that high rose. Yeah. That's the gain of the microphone because it's quiet today. It's not got much gain in it, I and mean, it's really I think it's really designed for sort of orchestral musical applications with loud sound sources. Mm. So you normally have to wind for, for what a lot of the things I do, you have to wind in quite a lot of gain. Yeah. So then that's it. You've got this gain pot and then the B format signal just comes straight out of there. Yeah. And you've no other control over it. Apart from you can if you want to end fire, you go to that button. Invert is if you're hanging it upside down right. and one single high pass filter at about 80 hertz. Mm. And then this section controls the stereo output. Right. So because this is a um, prototype box, the marking's not very clear on it. So you can go from omnidirectional. Mm. Uh, pink footed geese, that sort of yapping sound. Yeah. Um, you can go from omnidirectional to figure of eight, and then the width control is effectively like in M S processing. Yeah. And you can monitor that through stereo headphones and take the stereo output independently of the B format. Yep. So if you wanted to, you could record six channels, four channels of B format, two mm. channels of stereo. That's it. Okay. Oh, we'll just, bit, just say that again, Tommy Chris, about the, the power source. So the, the microphone and the preamp is powered um, via Hawkwood's NP1 lithium-ion uh, via this shoe which is 12 volt regulated. Yeah. 